Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Thimbleweed Park. Now, this is an old-school-styled adventure game that a lot of people are excited about, particularly because of who developed it. The team of Gary Winnick and Ron Gilbert, who together made one of the greatest point-and-click adventure games of all time, Maniac Mansion, which I've actually played on the channel, and it's one of my favorite games, period. So I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what they do here in this game. I haven't read up a whole lot on the plot or the characters or anything. I've done that purposely because I kind of want to jump into this blind. So uh, let's do it. The music was cool. Casual mode. If you're new to adventure games or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there's so much to do. Free tutorial included. Hard mode. If you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there's nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games, we will go with hard mode. Because this is not my first rodeo, as they say. Text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Oh, look at that format. Maniac Mansion, Day of the Tentacle. This is going to be fun. 1987. I was four years old. This better not summon a city in the clouds. It had some heavy Bioshock vibes to it. Ominous. Thimbleweed Park, City Limit, Population 81, Elevation 14. Oh, correction, Population 80. Part 1, The Meeting. See, bullet holes in signs don't really mean a whole lot to me. I live in Texas, so you see that a lot. Trestle Trail, 1.7 miles. Old school style train, a la Stand By Me. I'm getting a kind of a noir vibe, that's cool. Movement and everything looks slick. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to assume that this gentleman is German. Talk to Willy. Look at note. Look at wallet. Key card for hotel room 301. Prototype Pillow Bear. Boris, I'm glad you decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the Trestle Trail Bridge. Turn off the light above the Trestle Trail sign so I know you've arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you're not followed. Seems legit. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. 252 dollars? It is the keycard for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Wait a minute, we have the keycard? Leave your ID in your hotel room. Ugh, my Akbar sense is tingling. Hmm. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? <laughs> Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Oh. Chuck is dead. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Well, doesn't seem like Willie's gonna be much help. I have to go. Sleep well. So, oh. 
That is the highway into town from which I just came from. Can't go that way. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. The light is turned on, and I do not see a light switch. Okay. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Hint, hint. So, let's pick that up. It is a rock. There! I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Ah. Okay. Well, he's not. He doesn't seem to be above uh, property damage. This guy. Oh, his name was Boris. Yeah. Willie snores like I do. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. So head to the sewer entrance. Check and make sure there's nothing else in the water. Ooh. Yeah, this this won't end badly. Oh. It's a trap. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night, or how much it would change us all. Part 2, The Body. Now, I have seen pictures of the body on Steam, so I guess Boris here... Let's see. <laughs> Mulder and Scully. Ooh. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. <laughs> this is going to be a long night. Let me see if I can get subtitles on, guys. One sec. There we are. Sounds like we got Chris Isaac playing in the background. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Awesome. So then we can find out who he is. Detective Antonio Reyes, Junior Agent. It's definitely my badge. I like the fact that you can actually hear his um, accent. Looks like I've been in the water, nothing. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Small hole in the back of his head, origins unknown. Ray is going to get on my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to do. Arrived in Thimbleweed Park from Albuquerque by bus, heading out to look at the body. This is perfect cover. Still walking along the highway. It's a long way from town. Perfect cover, huh? Arrived at the body, and Agent Ray is here, which is odd. No one should have been assigned to the case. I may have heard of her from rumors around the office. Might pose some problems for me. 
Remember to call mom tonight. So definitely more to Reyes than what it looks like. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Okay, that's very Maniac Mansion-ish. It's a hotel keycard from the dead man. This is flashing... Oh! We can switch back and forth. Nice. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. <laughs> Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. And we got an old school Gordon Gecko, um, Polly Dangerously cell. The cell phone has no reception. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Ah. Okay. Now is this... Looks like they have the same kind of observations. Got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrived at the body. It should just... It should do just fine as my cover. What's going on here? I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh great. Some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Well, let's go ahead and give the Polaroid film to Reyes. Oh, I love carrying stuff. And then we will use... There we go. Now can we use the camera? Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Dead ringer for the body. Oh. Womp, 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 womp. Let's head over here to where the murder actually happened. I'm gonna keep moving my cursor around just in case maybe we find something. Oh. I saw, so I saw that. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Nice. Chainsaw of disappointment. We're gonna pick that up. Now, if you don't know what that means, that's, uh, in Maniac Mansion, there was a chainsaw that you could get, and you never found gasoline for it. So, it was kind of a red herring. Oh, man. And we could use the chainsaw in disappointment right now. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. Um, ooh. What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? Guess so. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. Looks like there's an A written on the wall there. So we got the drag mark. Can't do anything with the old tree yet. Maybe we'll be able to uh, utilize the chainsaw of disappointment, although I doubt it. So I had this thought it was going to be like Undertale and we were going to be followed here through the brush. Oh! It's an empty whiskey bottle. Ah! So it looks like Willie may have come by and looked and saw what was going on. And nothing. Oh. The bulb's broken. Mm hmm. And I guess Willie has fled the scene. Don't really blame him. I guess we're heading this way. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. 
There's gonna be a lot of red herrings here. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Double click to run. Behind jaggy lines from mucus phlegm games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and have. I uh, need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Let's go ahead and run. Which means there's going to be a lot of ground to cover if they added a run button. Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? Uh, let's keep on. Ooh. Circus Flyer. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. Gonna grab all the things. We need more inventory slots. Hi. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant? Yeah. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and it was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Wow. <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? <laughs> you almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said. The signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. I'm sensing a theme here. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. So power grid. <clears throat> but playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. Wow, we are breaking the fourth wall here in a big way, like the Kool-Aid man. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Squeak! Woo! Oh, are you guys... Squeak. Oh, Lord, no. Heek. Okay, if the signals are strong... The cell phone has no reception. Alright, not those signals, then. Now, let's see if, uh... Reyes... Is it the exact same thing? Squeak! It's a plumbing van, driven by big pigeons. Squee! No need. The perps are outside. Squeak! Bee! No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Okay. Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Eek! Click, 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 click. This is going to be an interesting adventure, guys. 
hold the left mouse button down to follow the cursor. Ah, okay, cool. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Yep. Let's go ahead and get Ray over here to grab those. Squeak. Now there may be a whole lot of useless stuff in this game, but we're gonna grab it all. Let's uh for no other reason than we're helping save the environment. Thimbleweed Cemetery. It's an empty soda bottle. Hopefully there's a recycling center nearby. Walk to town? I want to check everything on this screen first. Because we got the red-eyed nastiness that's in that tunnel. I would like to try and find some gasoline. There's the trail. Walk. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Oh, okay. So we did go the correct way. Should we try the cemetery next, though? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Thimbleweed Cemetery. Oh lord, okay. Now normally cemeteries are a good place to acknowledge uh, Kickstarter backers. This is sufficiently creepy, I like it. Double... This is a... Okay. There's a lot of people <laughs> who've lived in this town. If the cemetery is this big. I got a mausoleum? This is going to lead to nothing, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, here lies the time that you wasted. Oh, wait a minute, we got a tomb. Flowers left over from a funeral. Yeah, let's get some bad karma here. The heavy wrought iron gate is closed. I see a switch inside. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. Flower, cartridge... Doesn't really look like there's anything that we can do with it. Okay, so we'll probably have to come back. And just holding on. Oh! Wrong way. Come on, Ray, what are you doing? And I know for a fact we're just going to have to keep on uh, moving both of these characters, otherwise, there's a really good chance that. I don't know, we may actually have other characters. Maniac Mansion, uh, you had three. You had Dave, who was the hero of the piece, and then you got to choose between his friends that would go with him to the mansion. So I wonder if we're going to have anyone else other than Ray and Reyes here. Alright, down to the highway. Looks like we'll actually head into town now. Closed circuit TV. Wait for me. Okay, Main Street. It says Main Street. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Boarded up doorway. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. So Willie had a um, prior occupation other than town drunk. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Prestige Realtors ride the bust. 
I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Eh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> hmm. I'm Agent Ray, and this is, um, uh, my partner. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. Hey, that's a man after my own heart. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? <laughs> it definitely had a Ned Flanders vibe to it. Alright guys, well this actually seems like a good place to go ahead and save the game and call it an episode. I'm really digging this. I like the music, I like the vibe. It's cool to play one of these old school games again. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.